Hey, this is Steve at Raybuck Auto Body Parts. I was changing the rear brakes on my, or the rear brake pads on my 2006 Yamaha Rhino 660, and I uh, thought I'd film a quick video just to show everyone how I did it. Um, I read a little bit about this, and it seemed a little tricky, but the hardest part was just finding out how to access this thing and what bolts needed to come out to get to it. So you really have to do the majority of it from underneath. There's a plastic skid plate in the back, you just take the few bolts out of that. I think there were uh, two, four, there were seven bolts, I think, in that. Took it out, and then you can see the, the, the whole caliper is hanging right now because I already have it unbolted. But uh, all you have to do, there's two 14 millimeter bolts. There's one right here that you get to from the bottom, and then the other one is right up in here. It's right up there, and all, that's easy to get to from the top. So I just lifted the, the bed up, and you could reach right in and get to that. Took a screwdriver, just wiggle the uh, caliper out until it popped out, and then it's hanging here. Once that is out, there are two um, bolts that you have to take out the end. They almost look like thumb screws, like set screws, um, but they're not. They're, they hold these pins in place, and these pins are what hold the pads in place. So they have a uh, five millimeter uh, Allen, and you just take those out and as soon as you take those out the pads fall right out so that was really it um, I got the new pads I took the spacers off of the old pads and popped them onto the new pads so we have the right spacing the only other thing you have to do is um, compress the uh, the piston back in the piston is right here it doesn't compress like a normal car piston would you need to actually screw it into place so I just took a uh, a long chisel, a flathead chisel, and you'll see right here, you can slide it in from the end, it fits right in there, and then you just twist it. So once you twist it in far enough, and obviously make sure you pop the cap off of the reservoir in the front so you're not uh, exploding that out or putting too much pressure back into the system. Um, and then obviously put that back on once the brakes are back in place or once the caliper is back in place. But that's all you do. See, I just twisted it a little bit and it set it all the way back in. It's all the way in there. I'm going to put the new pads in. I'm going to lube everything up, bolt it right back up into place. Um, that's really it. Some guys said it took them about 45 minutes. I think it's probably going to be about like a 20 minute job uh, now that you know where all the bolts are and how to get access to it. Um, and that's, that's it. Again, 2006 Yamaha Rhino 660. Uh, I think a Raptor, I think the 450 might be similar as far as like the brake setup on the rear axle. Uh, it's just that center brake right on the axle itself. 